It's everybody's game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Kick, Hack, Go! And now, here's our host, Jim Caldwell! Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, welcome to another edition of Tic Tac Doe. We're going to have some more fun today, give away some more money like we always do. Our current champion, let me see, she's in the middle of a game with her second opponent. We're going to resolve it today. Let's bring him out, Charlie. Well, Jim, our current champion is a promotions representative whose interests include baking and soccer. Her winnings total in cash and prizes, $6,650. Meet Chandra Pizzullo. And her opponent is an aspiring comedian whose interests include karate and chess, be Dan Wong! Hey, Dan, how you feeling today? Hi, Jim. Okay, pretty good. I hope I uh, got up to a good start, or a good middle. <laughs> a resident funny man, right? Well, I try. Now, you're also involved in karate, right? Yes, yes. I uh, have a brown belt in uh, Okinawan karate, which took me... Oh, close to four or five years to obtain. Uh, is there a couple? Are there a couple of steps well, the, along the, the way? The, the, along the way, yeah. There's a you know. Like a green belt. Green belt, belt, yellow belt, blue belt, depending on the style that you study. And one step above the brown belt is black belt, which takes another couple of years. I didn't, at that point in time, uh, work and trying to make a career sort of uh, didn't give me the, the time to do that, which I regret. Well, I know anything involving a sport that involves discipline like that takes a lot of dedication. Yeah. I admire you for going Ooh, that well, yeah. far, and That's maybe great. someday we'll be able to get a little uh, bit of an example from you. <laughs> Kick me in the face. I'm well. a bad loser. Oh, okay, Dan. Now, hold it. Hey, how you feeling today, Chandra? I'm feeling really good. You've won a significant amount of cash and prizes so far. What do you intend to do with the money? Well, one thing I'd really like to do is a little bit of traveling. One of my best friends wants to go to Hawaii, and so I think that might be along the, the lines of what I'll do. Well, I'm sure if you've watched Tic Tac Doe in the past, you know that sometimes we give away trips to Hawaii. Then I won't have to spend my own money. That's right. <laughs> well, good luck in that department. Thank so you. far, $6,650 is yours. Let's continue the game. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Dan Wong and Chandra Pizzullo are the players. And let me see, when we broke off last time, we had these nine categories that you both were playing with. Scary things, seesaw, U.S. geology, or geography, I should say, comic books, general science, trivia dare, faces, it's a dilemma, where are you? And the board looked like this. And let's see, the pot was worth $1,100. We just have four boxes remaining. Let's go ahead and shuffle. And Chandra, let's start out with you. I'd like the faces in the top center for the win. Chandra, answer this box or answer this question successfully. You're going to win your second game of tic-tac-doe. Now, I want you to take a look at this picture. For 20 years, this man has ruled the Philippines with an iron hand. For tic-tac-doe, and a grand total of $7,950 name him. Ferdinand Marcus. You win! <laughs> Chandra made fast work of that game. I tell you, vertical tic-tac-toe, $1,300 added to your previous winnings. Cash and prizes total $7,950. We'll see how well you do against the dragon uh, in your second attempt to uh, defeat the dragon in just one second. But first, Dan Wong, an aspiring comedian, one who is a brown belt in karate. We enjoyed having you on the show. Thank you. It's been a lot of fun. Good. Yeah, I'm good glad. Champion. I'm glad you had a good time, and I know you wish good luck to Chandra sure as she do. continues. And we thank you for playing Tic-Tac-Doe, Dan. Thank you, Jim. We're going to watch Chandra take on the dragon in just one second. Don't go away. Our current champion just beat her second opponent, Chandra. Are you feeling ready to take on the dragon? I'm ready to do it. Come on across here. Let's do it. Congratulations. Thank you, Jim. Nice firm handshake. Oh, thank you. I like that. you got to have that kind of, uh, I, th I think I told you before about enthusiasm. You need a lot of strength to beat the dragon, too. Some confidence. That's right. All those kind of things. Behind these numbers, as you know, are very some amounts of money. There's a tick, attack, and the ugly dragon. <laughs> you want to get the tick and the tack or reach a thousand dollars or more and you'll win a terrific prize package. Charlie O'Donnell's going to tell you what it is. Well, Chandra, each of these gifts will truly make waves. First, Chandra, you'll generate sound waves of your favorite music on a top quality stereo.
Select with a $300 gift certificate from J.T.'s General Store. Select from fashion, housewares, and much more in the J.T.'s General Store Spring 1986 in-home shopping catalog. Then your food will be cooked with microwaves in this microwave oven. A Whirlpool microwave oven with microcomputer touch control. Program all cooking cycles, times, and power with a touch of your fingertip. Quick defrost cycle, sealed ceramic shelf, bi-level cooking rack from Whirlpool. Next, you'll make waves yourself in this stunning swimwear. From Sea Fashions of California, sensational bikinis and meos in a wonderful assortment of fabrics and colors. Suits that make you feel terrific from Sea Fashions. And finally, Chandra, we're sending you on a vacation to feel warm breezes as they create gentle ocean waves that fall on the beach of magical <laughs> Mazatlan! <laughs> Where the Sierra Madres meet the Gulf of California lies magical Mazatlan, founded in the 1500s and now a popular beach resort. While there, you'll stay at the Holiday Inn Mazatlan, located on the beach with elegant rooms featuring in-room movies. Enjoy dining and dancing, water sports, or relaxing under the sun from Holiday Inn Mazatlan. This Making Waves package is worth in cash and prizes over $3,250. Making Waves package. That sounds wonderful. Bikinis, a trip to Mazelon, you ready to go? Yes. All right, beat the dragon. Okay. Get the tick and the tack, he'll get the dough automatically. He's uh, working on finding a place to hide. I know that you have a, a veritable crowd out here that's rooting you on. You gonna have some help again from them? I sure do. Mom, Kathy, Grandma, Margie, David, help. <laughs> Where do you want her to go first? Come on now. Uh, it's looking like one first. All right, number one it is. Let's find out. Yep. Dad hey, gets the shot. Oh, okay. Where's the tick? Good okay. question. Uh, David's tick? saying it's behind eight, so we're going to go behind eight. All right, behind eight. 300. Okay. I need 700 or a tick. This one, this one I'm going to try on my own. I'm going to try two on this one. All right, she's going to take it on her own. Kick <laughs> well, you're going to Mazatlan. I'm ready. Good. Let's find out where that dragon was. Where was he hiding this time? Behind number three. Just missed him. $1,000 trip to Mazatlan, some nice swimwear, microwave oven, gift certificate. Total now, cash and prizes, $11,200. Are you ready to meet your next challenger? Bring that person on. All right, we will. Head on back. Well, Charlie O'Donnell, she just told us to bring out her next challenger. I think that she's going to give her a run for her money. Who is it? Well, Jim, she owns her own business, and her interests include weightlifting and sign language. Meet Fran Gordon. Hello, Fran. What kind of business do you own? Well, Jim, you see, I have what's called a cookie gram business. Aha. Uh -huh. What's a cookie gram? Pray well, talk. Jim, to give you a good example, I just happen to have some for you right here. You do? Yes, I'm I gonna do. I'm going to come across here and just check this okay. out. Okay. These are long stem chocolate chip cookies, and uh, they're sort of a fluke of nature. They grow that way. Let and me see these. Long there stem you go. chocolate chip cookies. Uh -huh. And usually I deliver them with a little song, and for the occasion, I've composed a little song just for you, Jim. Okay? Um, okay. All right. Go for it. Oh, now I'm on Tic-Tac-Doe, my favorite game show. With our new host, his name is Jim Caldwell. He's blonde, he's bright, he's overjoyed, cause he's no longer unemployed. <laughs> and may I state, I think you're great, Jim Caldwell. Oh, thank you. There you go. Yes, yes. That was sweet. I appreciate Thank that. Thank you. Enjoy. I tell you, I think it's uh, time for me to kind of munch down here while we take this break. We're coming right back. Hey, munch out. Here's Jim. Thanks very much, Charlie Donald. Well, I'm, uh, I just had about six cookies that our uh, latest challenger, Fran Gordon, gave me. They're terrific. Thank you, Fran. Thank you. I don't think I need to eat any dinner today. Uh, I'll be set. All right, it's time for us to get into the game. Chandra, Fran, take a look at these nine categories. They are names the same, auction, sitcom, situation comedies, opera, pop music, number please, foreign words, showdown, and wild west. Remember, those red boxes are special categories. All right, Chandra, get us started. I'd like to start with pop music in the center, Jim. All right, you'll have some extra time to think these two-part answers over, Chandra. One of the biggest pop music hits of 1975 was a remake of the classic Beatles song, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. The record featured this flamboyant piano player and singer, whose earlier hits include Goodbye Yellow Brick Road 
and he was actually accompanied on guitar by a former member of the Beatles. Number one, name that piano player and singer, and also name the ex-Beatle who accompanied him on the record. Here's your extra time. <laughs> I'll repeat this rather long question. One of the biggest pop music hits of 1975 was a remake of the classic Beatles song Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Now, the record featured a flamboyant piano player and singer whose earlier hits include Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, and he was actually accompanied on guitar by a former member of the Beatles. Name that piano player and singer. Elton John. Right. Name the ex-Beatle who accompanied him on the record. Paul McCartney. Ooh, no. Oh. John Lennon. Center box goes unclaimed. Pop music stays open for now. Let's shuffle. Over to you, Fran, for a first pick of the board. Okay, let's try Wild West in the center. See if you can get the center box. With this question on the Wild West, I'll describe two colorful, famous Wild West women. You name them. Number one, the U.S. government once offered a $10,000 reward for the capture of this bandit queen named Belle. And two, this woman's real name was Martha Jane Canary, and she is believed to have worked as a scout for General Custard. She's better known, however, by a particular nickname. Here's your extra time. Think it over. Brand two famous Wild West women. Number one, the U.S. government once offered a $10,000 reward for the capture of this bandit queen named Belle. Belle Star? Right. Okay, number two. This woman's real name was Martha Jane Canary, and she's believed to have worked as a scout for General Custard. Better known, however, by a particular nickname. Calamity Jane. You have the center box. All right, Wild West gets an O. $300 pot. Let's shuffle. Back to you, Chandra. Uh, let's try pop music again in the lower left. See how well you do this time in this category of pop music. This pop superstar started singing while he was in college with a band called the Mighty Mystics. The Mighty Mystics became the Commodores, and this man later became a solo phenomenon with such hit songs as All Night Long. You are confidently nodding over there. Name him. Lionel Richie. You have the box. All right, pop music gets an X this time. $500 pot. Let's move around. Back to you, friend. Okay. Uh, hmm. Let's try foreign words. Foreign words is a category. Fran, take a look at this particular foreign word. Here's the Polish word for a place most people would rather not be after dark. Name it. Cemetery. Right. <laughs> Cemetery is right. All right, Fran. We'll put an O on the board for foreign words. $700 pot. We're going to be coming right back after this brief pause. Don't go away. How do you go from this to this? Our current champion, Chandra Pizzullo, is being challenged by Fran Gordon, two lovely ladies, in the middle of a game. $700 pot. Let's shuffle. Chandra, your turn. Name's the same in the center left, please. All right, going for a block, Chandra. This American biologist named Walter identified the virus which causes yellow fever. He shares his last name with a New York movie critic named Rex. For a block, what is their shared last name? Reed. Right you are, Walter and Rex Reed. All right, name's the same, gets an X. Let's shuffle with a $900 pot. Fran. Okay, looks like sitcoms. Let's see if you can successfully block Chandra this time, Fran. Situation comedy is the category. In the sitcom The Jeffersons, George Jefferson was so successful in business that he was able to achieve his lifelong dream of moving into an upper crust neighborhood. What sort of business did George Jefferson own? Uh, it's a cleaning laundry business. Right you are. You have a block. A dry cleaning store. All right, sitcoms gets an O. A successful block on the board. $1,100 pot. Four boxes remain. Chandra. Foreign words in the lower right for a block, please. Once again, going to see if you can block Fran. Take a look at this foreign word, Chandra. This is the German word for something we all become, God willing. Name it. Tall. Old. Oh. Old is the word. German word for old. How about that? Okay. Box was unclaimed. $1,100 pot. Let's shuffle. Fran. Name's the same for the win. 
All right, Fran, if you can successfully answer this question, you'll become our new champion. Uh, this real-life attorney named Warren, who later served as a justice of the Supreme Court, shares his last name with a fictional attorney named Hamilton, who never seemed to be able to get the best of the famous Perry Mason. For tic-tac-toe and a grand total of $1,300, what is their shared last name? Burger? Right, you win! <laughs> Warren and Hamilton Burger, Fran, there was a question in your voice. Yes, I wasn't sure about the Hamilton part. Though. <laughs> well, you came across with the right one, a diagonal tic-tac-toe. $1,300 is yours. You're going to have your first shot at the dragon. You're going to face the dragon in just one second. But first, Chandra Pazula, you've been a great player and a lot I've of fun. I've had a lot of fun. Thank you. You've had a terrific amount of enthusiasm and excitement. We've enjoyed that. Hope you've had a good time. Yes. All right. Definitely. You're going to be leaving us cash and prizes and a great trip to Mazatlan totaling $11,200. <laughs> good luck to you, Chandra. Thank you, Jim. Well, Fran, it's time to take on the dragon. You ready? Come on over. Well, this is your first time to take a look at the dragon and see what he's all about. In a moment, he's going to find a place to hide. He's kind of jumping around there, going to make his decision momentarily. But first, we have to know what kind of prizes are at stake, right? Okay. You want to hear? Absolutely. All right, Charles, tell her what's in store. Well, Fran, here are gifts to lend you a hand in the kitchen. First, Fran, for beating eggs and mixing batter, this fine food preparer. This KitchenAid mixer can handle most every task, from a single egg white to kneading yeast doughs with attachments as a complete food preparer. Then for cooking and easy cleaning, this non-thick cookware. Le Creuset enameled cast iron cookware with cast aplomb. The tough, non-stick cooking surface metal spatulas won't scratch from Le Creuset. Next, to serve drinks while you're cooking, just hand them over to this versatile home robot. The future is here with Tommy's Omnibot. Program it to perform wake-up calls, carry objects in any direction, or even play standard cassette tapes from Tommy. And finally, Fran, the best way to help out in the kitchen is to bring in this prize, worth more than $1,800, this brand new set of appliances. From Gibson, kitchen appliances featuring a frost clear refrigerator freezer with adjustable cantilever shelves, twin glide-out crispers, and a total energy saver system. A portable dishwasher with three levels of washing action, an energy saver switch, and an electric range with high-speed surface elements, electric clock timer, and self-cleaning oven to make cooking a pleasure. All from Gibson, one of the white consolidated industries. This lending a hand package is worth in cash and prizes over $4,050. $4,050 is a great bracket. Absolutely, that's great. Gotta beat the dragon, that's what you gotta do. Get him, get him. Muster up all your courage here. He's finding a place to hide. Anybody in the audience gonna be helping you out today? Oh, yes, sir. My boyfriend and my best friend. Point them out to us. They're over there in the second row. What are the names? That's Fred and Marcy. Fred and Marcy. Great. Welcome to Tic Tac Doe. Where do you want them to send you first here? Well, six, okay. She blurts out six. All right, let's find out. Behind. 100. A nice beginning. Uh, two. Number two. Okay. Stop middle. 150. Need 750 more. Four. Number four. She's moving quickly, folks. Oh, the dragon. It got you that time. Let's find out where everything else was on the board. What was the tick and the tack? They were behind behind number one and five. Well, that's all right. So far, you've picked up in cash $1,300. Yeah, okay, yeah. And you get to meet the next challenger in just one moment. Okay. We'll take a break and come right back. I'll back to the... Let's start off with a brand new game, game number two for you, Fran. So far, you've been doing very well. As a business owner, mm -hmm. you're also is interested in weightlifting. That must be... Uh... Yeah, sure. It keeps me uh, strong. You know, those cookies can get pretty heavy sometimes. Well, so. We can talk a little bit more about that when we come back in our next show. Okay. Congratulations. You'll come back with $1,300 you. next time. Okay. We'll see how it goes. Okay. I'm Jim Caldwell. We'll see you on our next Tic Tac Doe. For fortune, followed by Jeopardy. Eubanks, 
super stud. By the way, you know, you're getting more handsome every every game show I see. Thank I'm sorry, dear, but Fox is a fox. Give the girl five points, quick. Yeah! The new newlywed game, weekdays at 8.30 a.m. and 12.30 p.m. Eastern. Echo is a Jack Barry and Cannon Wright production.